Hey guys, it's Miss Melissa from the Children's Hands-On Museum of Tuscaloosa. Sharks are fascinating animals that are built for speed and for catching their prey. That's why they've been around so long. Today we're going to focus on three body parts that are designed to help sharks thrive. Let's start with shark skin. Sharks are fish, so they do have scales, but their scales are sharp and they're called denticles. That word really means skin teeth. They point back toward the tail to help the shark move smoothly through the water. So the skin feels smooth if you rub a shark from head to tail, but like sandpaper if you rub it from tail to head. This just means their skin helps them move faster through the water. Sharks Tails are also fascinating. We call those a caudal fin. The top lobe of the fin is a bigger shape to help them swim slowly as they search for prey, but then they burst into speed to catch them. Shark tails push them through the water like most fish tails do, but as they move their tail side to side, it moves much more water than other fish, making them swim faster. Sharks have different shaped tails uh, for their specific needs, and that's because they hunt in different types of water and they hunt for different types of prey. So those different tails help them do the specific things they need to to catch their prey. So basically, the combination of aerodynamic skin and their tails make them super fast in the water. Well, no discussion of shark body parts would be complete without talking about their teeth. Now, sharks don't chew their food, they swallow it whole. So their teeth are tools to catch their prey. Different species of shark eat different animals, so they can have different shapes and sizes of teeth. But each species of shark's teeth are all the same in their mouth. And that means that a particular shark if you were to look in their mouth, they only have one shape of teeth in their mouth. Last, here's a cool fact. If you take a shark tooth and you measure the height of the shark tooth in inches, multiply that by 10, and that is the length of the shark in feet approximately. For example, if you had a one inch shark tooth, then the shark would be approximately 10 feet long. Hey friends, it's Miss Laura. Now that you know a little more about how a shark's skin and tail help them to swim faster, let's take a look at another shark feature that helps them to swim. Most fish have a balloon-like air bladder that helps them to stay afloat, but not sharks. Sharks have a lightweight cartilage structure and oil in their liver to help them swim through the water. Let's do an experiment to demonstrate how the oil helps them. Okay, for this experiment, you will need two plastic bottles. You'll need a marker if you want to decorate them like I did, where there's shark faces on the bottles. You can decorate them for your bottle nose shark. You need some water. I have mine in the little pit cup. You need some oil. Any kind of cooking oil will work for this experiment. And you need a large container filled with water. This large container, you can use a sink. I'm using a fish tank aquarium so that you guys can see it from the outside. You're going to start by taking one of your bottles, unscrew the top, and we're going to fill this first bottle with water. Measuring cup aside, and make sure you screw on this lid nice and tight because we don't want any of the water coming out. We're going to take the second bottle, unscrew that cap, and this bottle is going to have the oil in it. Carefully fill up the bottle with oil and we're going to try our best to make the levels of the oil and the levels of the water about the same. So I need a little, I put a little bit too much oil in there. So I'm going to add a little bit more water. We want the levels in the two bottles to be the same. You can eyeball it or use a measuring cup if you want to. So. These are about the same level in both bottles with my shark teeth drawn on them. Now put the caps back on and make sure you screw them on nice and tight, especially the one with the oil in it because you don't want that coming out in the water. That'll be, make a big old mess. So once you have these screwed on nice and tight, we're going to make a 
prediction. What do you think? Do you think the bottle with the oil or the bottle with the water is going to float? What do you think? So let's make an observation and I'm going you can follow along with me and drop both of the bottles into the water and see which shark is going to float. So we can see with these two bottles that the one with the oil in it is floating evenly on the surface of the water. This one with the water in the bottle started to sink down. That's because the air in this bottle and the oil in this bottle, the oil is much less dense than water. So it's going to even out and float on the surface. This air is also less dense than water, but if you filled up the water bottle all the way with water, it would sink to the bottom. How the nose is diving deep down. There are so many fun and fascinating things about sharks that you can learn. Stay tuned for more this week with Chom at Home. Bye.